All right, everybody, welcome back to Bone Apple Tea, brought to you by our wonderful sponsors. Once again, the like button. Check it out down below the video and my clothing line quality content at qcathletics.com with lots of restocks just in time for the holidays. I don't know what the shipping cutoff is for the holidays, so it might be coming up real quick, just as a heads up, link in the description. Once again, lots of joggers, color blocking on the shorts, restocks on other stuff. And I mean, of course, Wearing the joggers, I'm always wearing the joggers. They're good. Bigger, deeper pockets with so much room for activities. That sounds weird. Uh, with real estate for items that you might put in your pockets. All right, back to back to the sub. Let's start off with number 19, athletes or atheists. I hope he doesn't get atheist's foot. It's a, it's a condition that's known to happen if you grew up in a religious household and then say you become an adult later on and you decide that you're not going to follow it anymore, your foot just, it might get a little itchy. Uh, no one can explain how it happens. It just, it just do be like that sometimes. You uncluttered swine. Everyone's saying that she's Elsa. Lol. No, that's Maureen. You uncluttered swine. I have no idea what the context is. Is there a character in Frozen named Maureen? Because I totally missed her. Or is there just like some controversy? It's, that's not actually Elsa. Okay, they might have called her Elsa in the movie, but I'm just like, that's actually, her name is Maureen. Just as little known fact, Disney insiders, like, it's not Elsa, it's Maureen. Okay, we call her Maureen, that's her actual name. I can't believe you guys call her Elsa. Just ridiculous. Uncluttered though. That's kind of a good thing though, right? You're not very cluttered. It's kind of an oxymoron. Full prove. Him again. Whenever I get feelings for someone, I get really high and order Mexican food, then I no longer have feelings. Oh, I should do that. Uh, it's full proof. Honestly, then a hot shower with... Oh, full proof. I appreciate them clarifying because I'm not sure I would have gotten it otherwise. It's full proof. I mean, it's proven to work. It's full proof, proven, full proof. I just geometry proofed that right there via the transitive property. Probably not. I do like the transitive property though. Transitive property was always my favorite property in geometry proofs in eighth grade. Like that was, was always the transitive property. The reflexive property was dumb because it was like, this is itself and therefore it's the same. And I'm like, thanks for pointing out the obvious. Transitive on the other hand, that was always that nice like, oh dude, if A is to B, and B is to C and they're the same, then A is to C and it was like, boom, proven. Full proved right there. I'm also in, ah, uh, homemade recipe, light strawberry milk cupcakes. Mmm, that looks really good. Oh my God, I'm in ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, right now. Those look delicious and beautiful. I mean, maybe they are actually an ah, uh, they're just shoving one down their throat. I'd be an ah, uh, if I was doing that too. You know, when the dentist puts the mirror in the mouth and it's like, say ah, uh, and you're like, ah. Uh, or the doctor, whoever's looking in there. Oh, man, I've never seen it like cross-sectioned before though. It's kind of a cool, it's kind of a cool idea. That way you get the exact depth. You never know like what curvature is on the top of the actual breading, right? So you don't know, is that actually mostly bread or is it flat? And there's a lot of frost. Oh, that's an absolute unit of frosting right there. Oh, gimme, gimme. Champagne mode. Or maybe he doesn't like Overwatch. Nah, I like Overwatch. I've been playing for four years. Overwatch getting a sequel makes me cringe. I can't. I hate I hate the word cringe on the internet. The word cringe on the internet is cringe. It's apparently everything is cringe. Okay, this is not part of the point. It's just a champagne mode. Champagne, yeah, dude. There's no such thing. Ain't no, ain't no single player. What you do is you just, it just tells you, go get a bottle of champagne. It tells you to pop and celebrate all of your amazing records that you've set in your online overwatch matches i love champagne modes dude it's just all about celebration it's great it might get your place a little bit messy if you shake it in advance but assuming that you are over the legal drinking age champagne mode can be can be great pay-per-view ah the classic pay-per-view this pay-per-view is worth the money already this concert is lit like i always say with the pay-per-view ones which we get every month on here i thought it was that when i was a kid too Perfectly acceptable. Never violate the sugar code. The best way to ask me out is by being blunt about the situation. Don't sugar code anything. Tell me how you feel. Sugar code. I 
kind of see how you might like, you know, if you're trying to conceal your feelings and not be straightforward, you might be trying to code it in a way that it's hard to decipher, even though it's sugar codes. So it's, yeah. Also, I feel like that's a weird way to be blunt about asking me out. So isn't this something you more say about breaking up is just be blunt about it. You don't need to sugarcoat it. I know it's over. Just tell it to me straight. Versus asking out, wouldn't you want it to be done nicely? <laughs> Just be blunt about it. All right, you, me, going to dinner right now. That's the end of the story, okay? Come on. Uber's waiting. Traitor. Okay, now you are an enemy. Traitor. Lay XD. Traitor. Come here, wandering traitor. I thought for a second maybe they were... I, I had a feeling it was going to have to do with traitor, but... I thought maybe they'd say wandering traitor. Maybe your allegiance is wander, you traitor. And then, then we have our, our boy here, our wandering traitor, who still needs to be given better trades. Why do your trades still suck? Literally the only thing useful you have to offer the Nautilus shells. You've been around for how many years now? Probably more than I think. And yet you're still, all you offer is like leaves. I can pay you emeralds for leaves and that's the special thing that you offer me? God dang it, go back and be more useful. You are a traitor. Yeehaw, nothing like a good old fashioned bonfire. Bonfire night. Maybe they meant, maybe this entire fire is just based on their library of James Bond VHS and DVDs and Blu-rays or something. I have no idea why they would be burning them. Seems better to not burn them, but maybe it's literally a bonfire. Either that or they captured James Bond and they, this is the, these are the bad guys in James Bond. No more James Bonds anymore. That was it. He's been captured and uh, lit on fire. Not a great way to go. Unforfilling. Is it just me or does a normal nine to five job now feel unforfilling against my streaming? Is this someone who streams? Cause I can totally see how that would be the case. It's, it's, it's pretty swick to be able to stream from home. And I'm gonna be honest with you, yeah, if you were if you were popping off doing streaming, your normal nine to five job would probably be like, I ah, this isn't that great anymore because I could be at home talking with friends, playing some video games, chilling, having a time, and I can totally see how that would be. I mean, it depends on your nine to five job though. After a while, like there's some work component to anything, right? Like there's other things you have to do outside of just the fun playing games and things like that. But as a whole, I would argue it's a pretty swick one, pretty swick job to do. So yeah, armholes for Frick Dose. What? Uh, anyone, it's not the 5th of November armholes. <laughs> What? I need help. <laughs> are we are we still speaking the same language here? For fork dose, anyone, it's not the 5th of November armholes. <laughs> I think my head's exploding here. <coughs> uh, are you saying, do, does anyone realize it's not the 5th of November and then you're calling them a-holes? I can't even tell if that's what they're, no idea. No idea. All eagle. It's only all eagle if you get caught. All right. <laughs> you can only first. Okay, if you want to have an eagle, all right, you have to get a, a cot so that the eagle can sleep on it when the eagle decides to rest. Do birds sleep standing up? They do, don't they? That doesn't seem very comfortable. How do you sleep standing up? Because you don't ever see a bird that's just like conked out lying on the ground. You're like, oh, that's not alive. That's that bird's not alive. And it's Isle Eagle to unalive an eagle. You don't do that. Don't worry, guys. A waxing will be here soon. Isn't there a waxing for the the crown? There is, but some people might decide not to wax for it uh, instead. <laughs> anti-waxers <laughs> oh man i'm i'm an anti-waxer that's for sure i can't do it that thing that hurts i've had it done once oh no not like not done as like a just as a one-time thing just to see how it feels no pain someone is selling access on fb 
Access fifteen dollars. <laughs> You'll get into all the best meetings. All right. You'll get all of the secret intel. You'll know everything about what's going on for the low, low price of fifteen dollars. Just think, there are countries that would pay billions in order to get the access that you are getting for a mere fifteen dollars. It's just a great deal. I'm not going to specify what kind of access, but it's the best access. Okay. Yes, sack of riced. Sack of riced his life for. Did he sacrifice his life for a sack of rice? I mean, that's pretty selfless. If it's like the family needed rice and he was like, I'll sacrifice myself for the sack of rice so that my family can eat or something. So, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you're so post to learn how to spell before high school. What grade are you in now? Hey, what about you? 11. I'm so post to be in ninth, but I got I got held back. No, see what he's saying is he's like post eighth grade, but he got held back. He's like, I'm so post eighth grade, but unfortunately I'm still in eighth grade because I was held back, but normally I'd be post eighth grade right now, like after, right? No, it totally makes sense. Mazel tov cocktail. <laughs> nice. The grenade is just a mazel tov cocktail. El mayo molotov cocktail? Okay, no, this is any, if there's a, a Jewish wedding that has an open bar, if this has not been done before, it needs to now, because you know how at events and stuff, maybe you've been to one where they offer, like they rename the cocktails, just like based on the event. And so they need to have a cocktail it's called the Mazel Tov cocktail. Like you'll have a little, you'll have the little menu when you walk up to the bar and it'll be like, here are your drink offerings on top of just ordering like, you know, the usual Coke Sprite, etc. One is a Mazel Tov cocktail. And I don't know what cocktail it'll be based off of, but a Mazel Tov cocktail, oh my God. I'm sure someone's done it, but that is, I need to see it. Use the hand fertilizer, please. Please wear a mask and use the hand fertilizer. Thank you. We need you to ensure that flowers are growing out of your hands. All right. It's a way that we can have additional productivity. You know, we're growing things out there in the field, but also you can just grow them on your hands directly. It'll give us so many more ingredients that we can use in our recipes. Please and thank you. And the top for the last month, bone apple tea, shrimps camping. What did you get to eat last night? Shrimps camping. I don't know how to spell it. They're just, they're cooking themselves, okay? Instead of the chef having to do it in the restaurant, the shrimps are just like, look, we know this is the end of the rope for us, okay? Allow us to just go on a camping trip. We'll set up the campfire. We'll, we'll skewer ourselves. And then, and then you can come fetch us, all right? You can just do us this one last favor, and then you can put us in the shrimp scampi, all right? Thank you so much. Just, it's the kind way to allow shrimps to live out their last day before they're put in the food. All right, that's it for the last month of Bone Apple Tea. Make sure to like if you liked. Check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch more Bone Apple Tea. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the bell even if you are. Check out the last Bone Apple Tea by clicking the thing over there. And then, and then Marin Music, latest upload over there, pretty swift. And, and quality content. So many things to mention. Okay, bye.